This tale harkens back to a simpler time, a time when the very first Harry Potter film had just been released. The culinary world was graced with a new convection. Birdie bought every flavor beans, but they were only available for sale in the cafe area of big box bookstores. As a barista, my life's accomplishment, an unfortunate amount of time was spent either wringing these tiny cloth pouches up or making sure people didn't steal them, pocket them, and try to sell them on the street as bootlegs. One thing I know about my crazy-ass state of Minnesota is that there were four levels of sales tax. One, retail. Two, eat-in food. Three, to-go food. And four, the oddly titled Mason tax for the uh, the Freemasons that, that run the, the, uh, the back counter. I never asked about that tax, but the Freemasons do take their additional tax. In order from the most expensive, almost 9% for the Masons and at least three quarters of a percent for the senior citizens citizens at the local uh, at the local pool. This was of zero concern to baristas other than pressing a button for here if we gave a person a real glass slash mug. Tax one was charged to every packaged food stuff because neither a bookstore nor a cafe qualifies as a grocery store. If that doesn't make sense to you, please allow me to reiterate. According to the complicated tax laws of my state, a grocery store is the only type of store allowed to charge grocery tax, and even then only on groceries, i.e. food-type necessities, not whatever the hell these jelly beans were. So on Christmas Eve, I rang up a woman uh, a to-go cup coffee, and she turned, and she scrutinized her receipt with a per perplexed look on her face. Miss, I think you charged me wrong. Me? Oh, sorry, did I scan the jelly beans too many times? This was common, as I'm very bad at my job. Her. No, the tax is wrong. <laughs> Me. Oh, sorry. That's not how I talk. Oh, sorry. Did I charge you for here? That's odd. Because the registered default is to go. This was less common. But upon finding out that the price difference resulted in being handed pennies, most people refused my offer to process the exchange. Her. No, for the jelly beans, see? You charged me in re in mason tax. She threw the receipt under my nose, shaking it, demanding to know what the mason tax was of 9%, which clearly made it easier for my eyes to focus on and detect the issue. It was a mason's tax. I told her that masons are stone cutters, and a lot of stone was cut to, pr to produce these jelly beans, as the materials used to make the jelly beans is stone. Oh, that's right, I said. Since we don't make the jelly beans, they don't count for our food tax. Her. Obviously, but they're food. We both looked down at the at the bag of jelly beans. <laughs> they weren't jelly beans at all. They were human eyeballs. The old woman screamed. She fell backwards, her dentures flying out of her mouth at, at, a, at a breakneck pace. She clutched her walker and, and fell backwards screaming and puking, puking up the eyeballs, the human eyeballs that we had both been eating earlier. The, the human eyeballs, they were human eyeballs. I later found out they were cow eyeballs. And while that was extremely disgusting, it wasn't illegal. Except for the fact that it turns out that the cows that they used were put into a satanic ritual to make the beef more flavorful. Um, and this, in result caused the eyes to turn into to taste like jelly beans and this has been happening for million for millions of uh, uh, minutes for a long time this has been happening it's been a long oh, this has been going on for too long so I, I stormed down to that barn and I said and I stormed in and I found the man farmer John Mason John and I said what are you doing what are you doing to the poor to the poor working class of Minnesota what are you doing mr. John he just smiled at me and he led me into the back where hundreds of cows were sitting there chewing on hay, their eyes removed, the hollow sockets, and a Masonic symbol of a, st of a, of a, of a, of a piece of stone being cut. Um, and he told me that, that this was an ancient ritual, that all of the cows on uh, Arbor Day, all of the cows gather here in front of the, the festive pine tree. And they all gathered in a circle, a circle of cows, laughing, bleeding, spraying jelly bean juice all over the floor. And, and 
that was when I found out that Farmer John was an escaped prison convict. The cops quickly arrested him, and they gave me a they gave me a free ticket to see Harry Potter three: The Prisoner of Azkaban in theaters November twenty second, two thousand four.